Hi, I'm Beetle, and today I'm taking you back in time, back to a time and place when I didn't know I wanted to draw in MS Paint all the time. I, of course, I'm talking about 2014. So, a little disclaimer, there are many, many drawings of Pokemon in here, but I hope you come along and watch also some of the extras that I do have in between. Unfortunately, I think I wasn't able to find my first MS Paint drawing since my PC always used to die. But this Heracross has to be basically the first one that I did when I started to be more consistent. There are several trends that will evolve through time, but right now all I can say is that it's pretty small, but I still like how I chose the colors for it. In this next one with Esper, you can actually see how I started covering up some of the areas that were lacking due to how MS Paint works since I didn't know all of the tips and tricks that I know today. Now this Krogunk is one that I actually really like. I think it looks great, but I also tried several things like the crazy lines in the border which are pretty bad, but the clean one looks really really well I think now here is one that I thought that I was being really funny with I don't know why the lines look so wobbly maybe I did it with a mouse perhaps I don't remember that now with this whimsy cut what I think I got so right was the shading the colors of the shading look really really pretty I think but you can still see I used to go over the liner twice so I could cover up the thing that the fill bucket does when you use the brushes and you don't use the pencil. Here's another one where I thought I was being pretty funny. I tried to fuse a Molga and Tails and I thought it was a great idea considering how it looks. Here I was doing Banlight. I set myself up to do something very different. Somehow it came off like a very reminiscent of graphic design or something I can't name. I know it has to be something. The style is just different. I like it. It looks good, I think. Okay, looking at this bird watch, I noticed something that to this day I don't even know how to handle and that is coloring the outlines like doing the colored line art I don't know when to apply it perfectly or anything like that many people seem to handle that very well I don't think I did back then and I don't think I can even today well, but this Miss Magius actually has a good colored outline. Still, I wouldn't call myself an expert at that. I really do not know perfectly when to apply and when not to. So I always jump back between doing black outlines and doing the colored ones sometimes. This is just a cute one. I like reptiles. The colors are fine. I think that the eyes are the thing that catches my attention the most. Now, I don't know why this happens, but I was going around gathering up the pictures and I really noticed and I remembered how drawing crustaceans like here with Corpish somehow brings the best out of me. I think the proportions are great. The Colors of the shading are also really good. I don't know, something about it looks good and I like it. Now, a little bit of backstory while I go through some others. The reason that I did so many Pokemon drawings is because there was this thing about doing one every day in MS Paint. 
and at that point in time I decided I wanted to develop a style and started practicing more and more. I was really into Pokemon even if I was very late to the party per se. I started playing Pokemon being already a lot older than most people. So my story with the franchise is very different but at the same time it has to be one of my favorite things ever and you can probably notice. Now this Genesect had to be one of my biggest projects at the time. I'm a big fan of insects, I love the design and I love Gen 5 so it was a given that I tried my best for this one. I took a lot of inspiration from something else that I really like which is the EVA 01 unit and the result was something that I was really proud of at the moment so yeah. So even if the dynamic was to do it daily, I actually didn't do this daily. If not, I would have many more. Also, sometimes depending on whether or not I was willing to, I did a lot more work than other times. So that's why some of them are really small and not that good. <laughs> And wow, to this day, I still really like how this Suicune has that crystal on his head. I really worked on making that look somewhat translucent, but also very reflecting. I wanted to capture that feeling of crystal a little bit. And you can see a lot of this is basically testing, checking out things like thicker outline, colored outline, sometimes very bright colors, sometimes a little bit more in tone with the others. I would do a very easy and quick shading technique where I would just go over the corners with the other shading color or the light color. But sometimes I would also try to do a lot more of the gradient. So I would do so many sort of layers. Oh, and here, let's check it out. This is the perfect example for the thing that I was talking about. With this Breloom, I was really working on making that transition. So I would pick a lot more colors than I would usually do in a normal piece. But if you check back with the Dino and the Maractus, you can actually see that technique that I was talking about where I would do some quick lines and that actually still looks really good. So don't be scared to try and experiment with, with different techniques and just have fun experimenting. By the way, I remember I did that Brillum during my birthday. I just some useless trivia. <laughs> more proportions oh and talking about proportions whenever I do something with crocodile and here with crocodoc croco sorry crocodoc that's it <laughs> it always leaves me very happy great use of the proportions of the foreshortening and cool colors that I can use with this piece now before I bore you off with more Pokemon stuff Let's get into some of the extras, or maybe most of them. Oh, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Uh, maybe this one is a little bit more slow paced, but I really appreciate it. Now back to the extras. So one of the first ones I found was this little ninja sex party thing, which is really stupid basically, but it's also really telling of what I did later and this is it there was just a very short period of time between this one and the other one and I can see so much improvement so sometimes you know do something silly then come back and try your best at it and that idea from before may help you in the future 
this was another doodle I did. I just felt like I had seen this type of character, but I didn't know who it was, so I just drew it. This is the result. I don't know if this exists or not. I have no idea. Now, this is Sirno, I think. She did not. <laughs> I don't know the correct pronunciation. I think I was testing out sort of a style for the anime girl look, which I still struggle with, but I think it's a cute result. Good colors. I love the eyes. That's what I like the most from this. Also with anime girls from Yu-Gi-Oh! My favorite card. Funnily enough, it's also based on insects. I used to try to draw her in a lot of ways so that I could develop a style. This is just another quick and really rough sketch, basically. Oh, and she's Mirmaleo. So I'm gonna save up a few of the extra ones for the end. I think there's a really fun teaser for the next episode, so keep an eye on that. Oh, it's a wild bell doom! <laughs> Cool colors, all I can say. Love the richness of the black surrounding the eye. Yes, I'm usually using this three color structure for the base color, the lighter tone and the darker tone. Picking colors that go off the color wheel instead of just being darker. This polyrad was one of my absolute favorites, not only in itself, but also the drawing. <laughs> but I did a lot of attempts, different colors, a shading more like the anime, and the outline that sometimes I do. I like how in most of this I'm usually testing variations. I'm not always super sure on the end product, and I feel maybe there's something I can do better. Maybe if I put this in a different color, outline this with colors, you know, I'm still testing that out. Sometimes the lighting effects and other times more of simple different tones. Somehow I did this mischievous really similar to that mismatches I feel. Maybe I'm imagining stuff, I'll have to check. <laughs> this one I clearly gave up on, totally. Oh, with this uh, hone edge, I think it's a uh, great moment to mention that it can be seen in some of the other ones but sometimes I really do try to get that metallic feel. Maybe it's a bit hard and I don't know if I've mastered it yet but I do try. Yes, you can just keep seeing how I do use a little bit of a forced perspective so I still try to do that but I'm sometimes a little bit more subtle about it. If I need to do it, I could, and maybe I will try to do something more extreme soon so that I can showcase that exactly. Because I did really have a lot of drawings using a very forced perspective. Sometimes what I did maybe looked wrong and sometimes I would be called out for like it looks weird or something, but it's part of the experimentation on it. You know, it's a process that maybe you thought it was looking good and may a second look makes you think, oh wow, it's actually not that <laughs> great. Hey, look, another cool crossover. This is Tengen Topa Gurren Lagann with uh, the cool looking Squirtle with the glasses and all. I thought it was pretty clever on, on my end. And yes, more of everything. Some are better, some are worse. Oh, and I really like this spinner rack for some reason. The way it looks and shines and the colors. I like it. Oh, look at this, my shiny magnesone. <laughs> That's great. Now in this one, I do feel the shiny metal coating was done a lot better. Looks really really good with some color in it so it doesn't look as dull Again, cool saturated colors that sometimes i like to use oh and this one is a special one because it's my first ever shiny pokemon i love liligant it's one of my favorite ones 
I worked so hard, did so many eggs, I don't even know that story is for another time, but I tried to do a different style where I would do like a lineless art and while it's not a lot of what I do usually, for it to be MS Paint and look that well I think I achieved what I wanted and it looks really... I think I'm proud of this one. I think I do feel it was... it took a lot of effort so I'm satisfied with it. Oh cute Tepic, my starter for Gen 5. Oh, Whooper and Rin. I think this was a bigger project in a sense. I made an attempt that I wasn't very satisfied with and then okay decided to do a Whooper all alone. That was really fun. I think the outcome is great as you can see. But then I still wanted to do my previous idea. So I thought about it studied the style of Rin's art in the game and based on that decided to make like a painting and this was the result and this is a great moment to close the Pokemon stuff and go back to the extras because now we have to take a look at Rin again maybe I don't know if this is a failed attempt I just tried to do something that looked okay but I was still struggling with a lot of things about style and now this one doesn't really respect a lot my style but I think I maybe did two of them I think one was the probably the first one that I can seem to find but this one this simple Marceline from Adventure Time is uh, something I did also one one of my I think better attempts at doing people maybe at that time this Miley Cyrus uh, drawing I don't know what was the reference like there was maybe a real photograph that I got inspired by by the expression I wanted to try out like a lazy study of the expression and what I could do with real faces and this one I haven't I have never been someone who does OCs, like original characters. I think I got somewhat inspired to do so by an idea in my head, I don't know, maybe a dream. But I was thinking about this and even have an animation idea of it. Maybe I could retake that and do something about it, I don't know. I'm never too sure of those original ideas and well that's basically oh wait hey this is basically almost from 2015 this Isabel and that means well what is this look at this a dunk beetle in 2015 now this is interesting I'll be checking out what was this in the next episode where I review the drawings that actually come from 2015. There's a lot more variety there. Still a lot of Pokemon. Wow, so thanks for watching. I wanted to ask you, if you're still here, I want your feedback. Is this actually too long or I don't know if it, this feels okay. I wanted to go over some drawings. I think I didn't comment on a lot because I felt I would take too much time. What's your opinion on longer episodes? Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and I love all of you tiny grubs. This has been a lot of fun. So until next time. Peace!